the way it can lead you dry. Now, now there is one very important thing uh, for startups and patents, which is um, getting this thing, which is called a freedom to operate opinion. And a freedom to operate opinion, which is done by an IP attorney, uh, will scour uh, all patents that exist and kind of register an opinion um, that you don't violate something that's existing. That's it. We require that, you know, a lot. If, you know, whether it covers everything, you know, it's all different story. My take on that is, there's a difference between a cook and a chef. A cook can only copy a recipe. A chef can take what you, that recipe and make it better. So whatever you steal from me, I will take and make it better and come at it from a different angle. I like that. <laughs> All right, Michael. You're up. I'm Michael Pellets with sure. Charity. Do you, as an investor, put much weight on if our team has influencers and celebrities on our team, and as well as like media coverage, do, do you do that? Well, let's see. I was in a deal with uh, Jessica Alba's husband. That didn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I backed the guy who invented SpongeBob and Blue's Clues and was a serial Nickelodeon. That didn't work. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I love, but no. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I love people who get PR for, like, uh, like uh, um, uh, you know, I'm the board of a golf company, Art Coast Golf, and Sal is like the world's nicest guy, Pakistani immigrant, is the greatest network in the history of mankind. I have a radio show on Bloomberg, right? right. This guy's on Bloomberg TV. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like yeah. dude, I thought he would have been on Bloomberg TV. Like, yo, how did that come? Yeah, how did he go? He, uh, uh, I like people who network with influencers. So Sal's a good example. You know, he got to the people on the USGA, got to the people in the infrastructure. Celebrities, they're dime a dozen. I mean, really, like, yeah. go to LA. You know, it's, 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 people are, you know, uh, star lovers. You know? <laughs> and uh, I think it would be very interesting, like, on The Honest Company is seemingly to be valued half as much as the biggest competitor, even though you know, that's got a, you know, a, a celebrity in front of him. You know, uh, but I did it during last time with Scott Savitz over data point and just brought in Leonardo DiCaprio and like, that's right, he's advisor, right? Yeah, I, I, did awesome. some, I did some sucking up. <laughs> bring, bring Leo down and play golf. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, you're up. Hi, my name's Ken Zelli. I run a small vacation rental startup. And uh, I guess my question is, if you've got a company that's kind of growing like this, doesn't have the real prospect of going like that. How do you advise people when to call it quits, or how do you look? You know, um, are you funded or not funded? Uh, bootstraps. So, so, By know. the way, you should look at Breezeway, who's making a platform your business. Uh, Jeremy Gall, who was ex Flipkey, uh, who sold the Trip Advisor, has got yeah. a new platform just for you, though. I heard business. about that. Okay, I will. It's a small to medium business, yeah, but I'm like getting yeah. bored with it. Uh, uh, Get up. How long have you had it so far? Two years. Two years. Cash flow positive. This is, little, right. this is what we call lifestyle business. Yeah. Right? yeah. In fact, it was uh, an unbelievable. So, uh, in term sheets, there's this clause called the redemption clause. I don't know if anyone ever even gets that far because you lose interest at page 10. So, the redemption clause is the VC's way of saying, if you're going to take out money and run a uh, lifestyle business, at the end of a like, seven year period, you have to buy us back plus, you know, you know, which you obviously can't afford. You know, so I can tell you what I've done, which is, I don't, I don't even think anyone's ever done this. You know, uh, I had one of these at Prism, and they were really nice guys. I, I gave them their stock back. I'm like, you know, give me a quarter million dollars when you can, and go. But uh, they, they were excited about the business. If you're not excited about your business, go sell it. You know, you know, people want lifestyle businesses, and there's a lot, you know, in your business, which is very boutique and one on one y, and yep. you probably don't hear all the bullshit from the, you know, the homeowners. You know, there are people that do that. Yep. Robots. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, go ahead. You take a duty of stuff. Got notes over there. You took notes? <laughs> that means you didn't hear a thing. Uh -huh. Jessica, Group Tripster. Um, what kind of guidance would you suggest to early startups on like legal like agreements, documents that you kind of get? underway before you maybe take on that first round of funding and or with your team members? Well, uh, you should definitely incorporate. You know, I'm not a big fan of these LLCs. I'm a big fan of becoming a C-Corp, you know, 
right away. Uh, and there are a lot of boutique lawyers around. Um, uh, like the Goodwin Proctor building is next to where I live. It's a big, beautiful building. They get big, beautiful incomes. You know, they're not for you. Don't kill me. But um, uh, you know, but there's a point where they are the people. You know, but there are you know, for under ten thousand dollars, you know, you can incorporate, and your docs are clean. You know, you're a Delaware Corp. You have a stock option plan. You have some governance in there. I think that's you know all you need. I, I don't know about these agreements with employees. I'm not a big fan of that. You know, that sounds to me like you know some problem down the road. You know, uh, I think uh, I don't even think that uh, like you know I think we were like two thousand people before we even had an employment agreement with anyone. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Like I, I think people should join these things. You know, for you know, you know for more of it. But um, uh, it's really hard to retroactively get your your house in order, you know, and, and everyone laughs like on the board minutes and stuff. You know, I can tell you a story like the, you know the way I got sued today on this deal. You know, the, the previous members of the board did something and kicked someone out and blah 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 blah. And then you're like, where's the minutes from that meeting? Oh, you know, we don't have them. Like, well, how do you reconstruct you know minutes? They don't even have to say anything. It's kind of funny the way all this works. But incorporate, get a stock option plan. Probably do the 409A if you know what I'm talking about, get the valuation, right? That has got no effect on you, by the way. That's a deal with the IRS and your employees. So you're helping your employees like avoid, you know, um, tax issues. Now, there are a couple of online platforms now which have evolved to help the early stage companies go through that initial setup. So kind of, I'll talk to you afterwards. Yep. All right, any other questions before you wrap up? But you guys get back out, get one more glass of beer or wine before you close up for the evening? Or well, some chili and sea bass. Or chili and sea bass. Right, you can tell that story also. Now you brought it up, you want to tell the story? I have a it's, it's the last story you could tell. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> for now. Go ahead. Oh, okay. uh, a friend of my son uh, uh, works for a uh, chili and sea bass importer. And he sells the chili and sea bass to uh, distributors and wholesalers. And his, his job literally is to travel around the world and, and, and educate fish buyers to the benefits of Chilean sea bass. Right? See, he, they figured out how to sell fish. Right? Right? All right, so Woody's gonna be around for a while, all right? If you stop by and visit with them, uh, we're still have the beer and wine open until about four to eight, four, and otherwise hang around until eight o'clock, come back to Future Venture Cafes, check our calendar out. Woody's going to be coming back to join some office hours from time to time. Yep. Okay. Here, as well as District Hall. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Good. Actually, right. right. thanks so much for coming out. Kevin, thank you. Good job. I'm at Nostra.